Hi, everyone. Hey, guys. Welcome. This is week four of our Launch Your Business series, and tonight we're going to be talking about enrolling. And this is going to be a little bit of a different um, night. We are kind of cutting out. We're, we've, we're in the process of tweaking a lot of just kind of our, our approaches to some things. And so we're still using the Share Success system, but um, we're changing kind of our, our way of approaching how we're inviting, presenting, and enrolling. And so um, we're changing some of our verbiage and how we're approaching some of those. So we're going to be shortening up tonight a little bit, um, but we're going to hopefully give you some tools that will be helpful and, um, and inside our builders group, Building Three Life Essentials, we will continue to be giving you guys tools as we're learning more about some new um, sales techniques from Tasha Smith's training, Emerge Sales Training, and, um, and things. So, But tonight we are going to talk about enrolling. And in the Share Success System, when we talk about enrolling, this is our, our third part of an income producing activity. So again, this is the other, where we're gonna to wanna to be spending the majority of our time yeah. and our efforts in the inviting, the presenting, and the enrolling. Mm -hmm. And part of that is enrolling new wellness advocates as well as wholesale customers. Um, enrolling wholesale customers and wellness advocates on the loyalty rewards program and also um, enrolling them in either sharing, hosting a class, or beginning to build. Tonight, we're actually shortening it up a little bit and actually only going to be talking about the, or mostly only going to be talking about the enrolling wholesale customers and wellness advocates with their doTERRA membership. Um, we're going to break up and, and next week as we're talking about supporting, we'll be talking a little bit more about the loyalty rewards program and how to enroll customers and wellness advocates on that program and things like that. Um, so technically that's a part of the enrolling process, but we're splitting this up a little bit so that we can have more time to talk on our sixth week about placements and mindset and some little extras like that. So, so does that make sense to explain that? Okay. I think that for makes everybody. sense. So, not, catch so they, next week and you'll see. Yeah, you'll understand so you're not what confused. You're talking about. Yeah, so you're not confused because this yeah. is all a part of the enrolling process, but you may wonder, like, why didn't they cover the rest of it tonight? Yeah. So, yeah. Um, so that's a little bit why. So, we want to check in with you guys to see how you're doing on your action items from last week. Thumbs up. Did you guys get all these taken care of? How many of you had a chance to observe three different oil presentations? Um, did you make sure that you have all the items that you need to present? If not, if you feel like there's some things that you don't have, then reach out to your upline. But this is, again, as Amy mentioned, this is part of what we're really trying to streamline. So uh, we don't want to show up to a class and have, you know, the more things that you have, the, the less likely somebody at the class is to feel like they can do the business and accomplish the business. And so we just want to be really careful about making sure that things are simple, that we have a simple uh, streamlined way that we're going to, we're going to take care of things so that uh, you don't want to have a bunch of stuff basically is what I'm trying to say. So make sure that you have all the items that you need to present, whether it's, you know, if you have some kind of a note taking sheet or a handout, you have your oils, you have your diffusers, you have your enrollment forms, uh, wellness advocate, wellness customer, um, that you've got your reference books for people. And then uh, you certainly, we, we suggest that people have some sort of an incentive for people to enroll the night that you're, that you're teaching the class. So just some, some small token little thing that you can give them, small token, I made it sound like a cheapie trinket or something not not meaning it that way but but just something that to incentivize them and rolling on that night um a and, breathe stick is great for that yeah. um a a custom roller bottle is mm -hmm. really great because when you're new to oils you don't really know how to make a roller bottle yet yeah. or and definitely not something specific for your needs so yeah. so bring yeah. your supplies along with you so that you can create something right there uh, a roller bottle right there or have one of those breathe sticks um have something in your hands that you can give that person so that when they leave, they're going to, they're going to, they're going to be more incentivized to, to enroll that night. Be sure that you have signed up for direct deposit. 
the the difference in the the price that you know the amount of money that comes out for them sending you a check versus a direct deposit is a big amount of money and so and plus it's just more simple to have it sent straight into your checking account um, and then uh, make sure that you've got three presentations on your calendar right now and that could be a one-on-one -on -one, it could be a class uh, it could be something that you're doing over the phone and so just make sure that you've got those things on your calendar so that you are in the process of working on that. And then know how to share your oil story in a compliant way. You want to be able to tell somebody about your experience, but make sure that you do it in a way that is compliant, that you're using the proper language. And remember also that, especially now what we realize more than anything is that you want to make sure if you're going to share your story with somebody, make sure that your story is going to resonate with them. So, if they're dealing with sleep, then you want to talk about a sleep part of your story. If they're dealing with, you know, whatever it is that they're dealing with, you want to make sure that your story lines up with that. Because if, if they don't have kids and you talk about how, oh my goodness, you're not going to believe what these oils have done from, for my diaper rash that these kids are suffering from, they don't care. And it could be life-changing diaper rash issues, but they just really don't care. So make sure that your story lines up with theirs. Um, and then use that sparingly. That's not something that most folks care about. We want to we want to find out what their story is going to be and help them understand that. And then working through those pipes daily. Okay, write them out. Make sure that you've got them in front of you all the time, so that so that you're able to go and work through those things succinctly. And again, making sure that you're spending, like Amy just said, making sure that you're spending the majority of your time in those income producing activities, the IPE part of that part of that pipe system. Okay. Well, and back on presenting just for a moment here, I know we talked a little bit last week about maybe doing away with um, a tear sheet or a handout during class that maybe just using something like this, uh, a nice note taking sheet that's simple. Um, I hear over and over all the time, how can I get my hands on one of these? Um, can Jim make one of these for me? So I will let you know, Jim is working hard on trying to figure out a way that we can, we can get a document, because um, right now this is in a PDF form, and so it's not easily editable. So we want to, to figure out a way that we can get these in your hands so that you can be able to use them for your classes as well. Mm -hmm. um, so, okay, tonight we're gonna be spending majority of our time, and I'm not sure if these pages are correct. Um, there's the book right there. Um, we're going to be spending the majority of our time on pages, um, let's see, yeah, 14, 14 and, 15 and 15 tonight. Mm -hmm. um, and so we're going to be working through steps eight and yeah, really step, step eight, eight <clears throat> um, yeah. enrolling 15 people. And so we're going to see how important and how um, powerful it is about questioning, asking questions tonight. Um, so, um, we're going to think about teaching about the wholesale memberships, um, teaching about loyalty rewards, um, inviting people to do either a membership overview, a wellness consult, a lifestyle overview, and, and we're going to talk through, um, inviting people to enroll using six specific keys to closing. And you will find these on page 15 as well. Okay, so after we've gotten to the end of the class, after we've done all of our presenting, um, we are, now if this is a one-on-one, -on -one, you can be doing this you know, right now, mm -hmm. um, but as you're working your way around the room, um, you so can you begin to start so we've oh, told sorry. everybody, yeah, so basically, I'm sorry to interrupt, but just no. to, uh, so basically what you've told everybody is you've said, you've described the difference between a wellness advocate and a wellness customer. You've shown them the enrollment form and you have basically just said to them, okay, now we're going to pass these out. Uh, just tell them the difference between those two things and, and then tell them what to do. Okay. A lot of times, you know, we just a long time ago would have a habit of just kind of passing these out and going, let us know if you have any questions. But then people just kind of sit there and they don't they don't really do anything. And so what we want to do is you want to tell them, okay, so I'm going to hand out these these forms, and what you're going to do is you're just going to go fill out the part that's highlighted, and uh, and give those back to us as soon as you get that taken care of. Okay. And so you pass those out, and then and then you're going to walk around. You're going to begin asking a series of questions. There are three questions you're going to ask 
kind of to begin, and then three that you're going to ask as kind of follow up. And there are actually now two different forms for people to fill out. There's a green form and a purple form. You can find these on doTERRA's website and print them out yourself. Um, but the green form is for customers and the purple is for wellness advocates. Now, hopefully you guys know by now, but in case you don't, the only difference between these two accounts is one can earn a commission, the wellness advocates, and one cannot. Um, that's the only difference. The one that can earn a commission has to give their social security number in order to get the commission checks. Um, but they, it's the same um, enrollment fees, the same costs, the same discounts, everything the same, promotions, everything's the same. Just one can earn a, an income and one cannot. Um, and so you wanna make sure that people can be aware of that so that they know which one they may want to fill out. I keep calling it a wellness customer, but that's not actually true. It's oh. a wholesale customer. Yes. So, uh, yeah. Ding. Yeah. Um, so thanks for remembering that, Jim. Okay. So, um, so we like to just say there are typically three types of people who come to the class. Um, either you had me at hello and you're ready to get the oils in your home. Um, and for those of you, go ahead and start filling out the highlighted portions on your, on your enrollment sheet. Um, the second type of person is somebody who, this is not for you, but hopefully you've at least learned something today and you've walked away with something new. Um, and then can, that person can actually jot down names of friends or family member that have come to their mind that you can get referrals from later. Um, and the third type of person is somebody who they know that they want these, but they still have questions. And so that's who you're going to be going around and helping after the class. Um, is that clear? Yeah. So you still, regardless of whether they've got questions or not, you want to encourage everybody to go ahead and start filling the form out. And if yeah. they say, well, I'm just not interested, then, you, then okay, well, you don't need to fill the form out. But everybody else should be filling the form out. And we're going to come around and help answer any questions that you might have. And this is a time for you to work on. We're going to give you these three questions that are in front of you here, but this is a time for you to start working through the, the material that you've shared with them about what oils are going to be specific to them and then helping them to work through their wish list also. And so these three questions kind of begin to dig at that and give you an opportunity to really start to push in. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so the so, first thing we would do then. Is that where you're going next? I'm sorry, I don't know. No, go ahead. Up. So the first thing you would do then is, so as we, we pass the forms around, and then you're going to walk up to the first person, you're just going to kneel down next to them and say, hi, so what are we working on? And by now, hopefully, they are already working on what you have gone back over in the presentation. They've been looking through their health concerns. They're maybe matching up products with that. They're looking at... Um, you know, now we've only, we've narrowed down and we're only showing and we're only talking about a couple of enrollment kits. So they don't have, uh, are not overwhelmed by what to choose from. And so, um, so you may say, what are we working on? And they say, okay, well, I've been dealing with the anxiety and I really would like to take care of that. This is your opportunity to say, how serious are you about addressing these? Because if they say a one, okay, well, High five. High five. You <laughs> Go know, grab yeah. a brownie. And they may not really, this may not be really very important to them, but if they say, gosh, this has really been affecting my job, my, my day to day life, and I've, I've got to address this right now, it's a 10, then this is your opportunity to say, if I were you, I would, and then you tell them exactly what you would do. You know, I would, I would get the home essentials kit. It has this and then this and this to address those needs. You show them where to mark that on their enrollment form. You hand them the pen um, if they don't have it, and you walk away. And don't forget the importance of silence. And I think that, that silence is something that we're kind of we can be uncomfortable with sometimes, but silence is really important for people because for you to think, you have to have some quiet. You have to have some time to mull things over. And if they're thinking, then they need an opportunity to do that. And if you're sitting there staring at them, here's the pen and you're just staring at them, they don't really have a chance to, to process. And if their mind is confused, they're never gonna place that order. And so you want them to be able to clarify their mind, to be able to get their thoughts together so that they can make that purchase. Now, 
when we looked at, when we taught the class and we talked about this a little bit last week, when we taught the class, what we, what we go through is we, we speak specifically about the oils that are in the home essentials kit and we teach. And what we do is we say, now tonight we're going to teach you about the oils that are in the home essentials kit. And if you do a catalog class, which is what we typically do, it, it's on the top of it. It doesn't say home essentials kit, but we're teaching them that these are the oils in the home essentials kit because that's absolutely true because we want this to be the reference for them. Okay. And so we talk about those 10 oils. So hopefully what we have done is we have given them that frame of reference. So as we sit and we say to them, okay, what are we working on? How serious are you about addressing these issues right now? And then it gives us an opportunity to point them to all of these oils that we've been talking about all night. Okay. And so, so we want them to begin to be able to work on these two kits specifically. Okay. Okay. So we're going to watch a video right now. Um, if you guys have been wandering through the launch, um, website, the share <clears throat> success launch web website, you may have come across this video already, but it's great. Um, and this is going to walk through those. Can I play it here or do I have to uh, go ahead and click that here? Nope. Here. Yeah. Ah. And there we go. Now we're going to go share. So stop. No. Well, you can. Okay. What am I? So you're sharing Chrome right here. Okay. And the intention of this video is to teach you the six questions to close a kit at the end of the class or one-on-one. -on -one. How many of us have come into doTERRA saying, I just love these oils, but I hate sales. How many of us feel that way, right? So my invitation to you throughout this video is to have a change of heart and learn to absolutely love sales. First of all, just a couple of principles. It's important to realize as we go into this situation that people want what we have. They might have issues about how much money they have to spend, but people want oils. People love these oils. People need to have the tools in their home to actually make these changes. So if we're saying our why is to put a healer in every home and to change the world, well, if people don't have the tools, then they can't change their lives and we can't change the world. So just have that knowledge in your heart that we are here to educate people and to empower them with tools in their home. So go in fearless with a lot of belief and a lot of love. Right now, we are going to go over the six questions that are going to help you go into an enrollment situation feeling excited instead of having that feeling of dread. At the end of the class, after I've explained the kits, I come around and give each person a Modern Essentials book or an Essential Life book, and they have their top three health concerns that they wrote down at the beginning of the class, and they are perusing the books and writing down the solutions for the things that they are struggling with. The first thing I'm going to do is to kneel down next to that first person, smile and say, what are we working on? And then they share their health concerns with me. At that point, I'm gonna write down with them things that come that we find in the book, and I'm gonna ask them about some other questions. So right now I have before me written down all of their family's health concerns. The next question, so after question number one was, what are we working on? Next question is, I am gonna look deeply into their eyes, and I am going to ask them, how serious are you about resolving these issues right now in your health? And I just, I'm silent and I wait. And if they look at me in the eye and they say, I'm serious, I'm serious about solving this. Then I, when they give me that permission, because basically when I'm asking them, how serious are you? I'm basically asking them, how much money do you want to spend today? Like how, how badly do you want to solve this problem? And if they tell me I'm serious, then I am going to have no shame saying, well, then if you are serious, I would look at either the diamond kit or the every oil kit or the natural solutions kit. And I'll take a look at that with them. And I'll say, if you're serious about overhauling everything in your home and getting every product that doTERRA has, then I talk about the diamond kit. And then I'll talk about the every oil kit. If you want to have every single oil so you can make any recipe, any concoction known to man, any physical or emotional thing your family is facing, you've got it, right? And then I'll say the natural solutions kit for me would really be the minimum if you are really serious about taking control of your health right now. And I'll build a lot of value into that. And then whichever way they want to go when, I, when I'm feeling kind of where they're leaning, then I go to the third thing that I say. So I'd say, if I were you, I would get 
and I will pull out their form and I'll put the pen in their hand and I'll show them where to click on the kit that I would get if I were them. I just sat down with the doctor last night and she's wanting to get to know doTERRA to possibly work it into her business. So last night I put the pen in her hand and I said, if I were you, I would get the diamond kit because as a doctor, you're gonna to wanna to know every single product that doTERRA has so that no matter what question comes up, you've got it. And so she said, okay. And so she got the diamond kit, right? And so that's something that you can be very genuine in. They've already given you permission by telling you how serious they are. Okay, so after you ask them, what are we working on? Then you've asked them, how serious are you? And then you say, if I were you, I would. You put the pen in their hand and show them where to fill out. Now, very important right now is you need to leave. You need to leave them alone after this and not be hovering over them. You need to go to that next person. If it's in one-on-one, -on -one, you just sit and be silent and just wait. You can you know, do something else, take a look at something and just let them think about it. Don't keep going on and on and on. So you go to that next person and you do the same thing and you go throughout the class. Remember, everybody's looking up their health concerns and that's keeping them busy. And then you come back around to that first person at the end to see if they have filled it out. Hopefully they filled it out and they're turning in their form and you're done. You don't need the last three questions of this little formula. But if they're still vacillating, if they're still sitting there and kind of hesitating, that means that they have some kind of concern. So right now I'm gonna give you top three questions that I use to help resolve anyone's concern. And if you can master these, you will go into these moments of hesitation with absolute confidence and excitement instead of like, oh my gosh, they're hesitating, what do I say? So. Memorize these, okay? So the first thing, when I can tell they're hesitating, I'll smile and I'll say, so as you're looking this over, what are the factors that you'll be considering in making this decision? And basically I'm saying, you know, what are your concerns? And hopefully they'll tell you, they'll say, well, you know, I just don't know if I really need everything in this kit. So great, now you know what the concern is. So you do your best to resolve it. And after you feel like you've resolved the concern to the best of your ability, then you go to the next question and you say, if they're still hesitating, it's possible that after you resolve that concern, they'll start filling it out and be like, okay, but if they're still hesitating, then here's the next question you can ask. You can say, is there anything that we haven't talked about that will affect your decision? So it's basically saying, is there another concern? Okay, so they might share some other concern about maybe they don't have a lot of money or maybe you know something else is coming and you try to resolve it. If their concern is money, then perhaps you look at the family physician's kit. You say, well, since you're feeling a little bit low on money right now, maybe the family physician's kit is a great place to start because it will give you all the foundational oils and then you can build up from there. So you could do something like that. Now, hopefully by then you've resolved that second concern and they'll start filling it out. If they are still hesitating, remember you've already asked them, what are all the factors you'll be considering in making this decision? They, and you resolve that and you've asked them, is there anything that we haven't covered that will affect your decision? So you've asked them to give two concerns. If they are still hesitating and they are not filling it out, then I love this last question. You simply ask, so what do you think is the next best step for you? Totally low pressure, no manipulation at all. What do you think is the next best step for you? And then they may say, you know, I need to go home and speak with my spouse or I need to do some research or whatever it is. That's very important. You pull out your planner on your phone or your day planner and you say, okay, when would be a good time to follow up with you on this? Is there any more information can, that I can give you? Can I send you some, uh, you know, some video links or whatever it is? And here's where it comes, you guys, that is the difference between the hunter mentality and the farmer mentality. In the hunter, they come to our class and we're going to, shoot them and we're gonna enroll them. A farmer thinks about, great, this class has been another great exposure. This person just needs more exposures. And so you're thinking in your mind, their next best step, and you schedule that. One thing to remember, don't assume the financial position that other people are in. Let me just give you a quick example. A Couple nights ago, I was at a class. After the class, I walked up to the first lady, I knelt down, I said, what are we working on? And she said, well, I'm pretty healthy. I think I just may want to get an oil for stress and maybe I'll get a vitality pack for my husband because he doesn't have a lot of energy. Now I could have assumed right then she doesn't have any money. So she just wants to get one oil and a vitality pack. She's not interested in any of the kits, but I remembered, no, I'm not going to assume anything. So I turned to her. I said, well, how serious are you about solving these problems right now? And she said, I'm very serious. And so I said, well, then if you're serious, if I were you, I would get the natural solutions kit because you're going to get the mood oils, you're gonna get the vitality pack, and you're gonna have the foundational oils in your home 
to handle any immune issues that come up. And I went and I talked through the kit and she paused afterward. And part of me thought, oh, great. I bet, you know, she's not going to get anything or she's going to say, I told you I only wanted one oil. And you know what she said to me? She said, I want two natural solutions kits, one for my husband and myself and one for my daughter. And then she added onto that two more vitality packs and two more diffusers. She spent $1,300 at the class. So imagine if I would have assumed she told me she's really healthy and that she only wants one oil and her husband just wants one thing. She must not have any money. So never assume. You listen to them. You ask them how serious they are. If they are serious, have no problem talking about the natural solutions kit, every oil kit, diamond kit. If you will memorize these, then you can be confident that in a sales situation, you are not manipulating you are inspiring them. You're that person saying, let's get these tools into your home. Let's get you going. Every single question puts them in the driver's seat and lets them say what they want to do next or what they're dealing with. And these will empower you to help you love sales, to help you feel like you can be your authentic self and not be some creepy salesy person. So memorize these six questions, become confident, and help get these tools into people's homes and change lives forever. Okay, wasn't that great, you guys? So helpful for us um, when we were, were doing our class, when we have started doing our classes. And um, this is an area that is one of the areas that we're kind of in the middle of process of tweaking some of it right now. But um, I still think that this is fantastic um, key questions to remember during a class. In fact, um, page 15 is actually a page that I actually took out of my launch guide and I laminated this and I take this with me to every single class. I pull it out at the end so that I can reference it and I just kind of keep it over by my things so that I can go back and look and make sure I've got the right questions in hand that I can, I can, present and I've actually taken a picture of it and I've got it in Evernote so that every time I teach a class same thing I pull it up in Evernote as soon as we're done with the class I go from the notes straight to that so that I can I can just work through it every single time I sit down to, to try to talk to people after the class so now, very important yeah now whether we tweak some of these questions or our approaches or not the main thing to remember as, as a part of the, the key questions is if you'll notice when when she said if there still are objections even at the very end they're still undecided do your best to try not to let that person leave the class without having either enrolled or set up an appointment with you mm -hmm. because once that person leaves it is going to be much harder to connect with them again um, the, and it's not necessarily that they have decided they no longer want the oils or want the products. It's that the, the motivation has left. They have, have walked away and they forget why they really needed these in the first place. Yeah. What was the drive? What was the desire? And so if you can try to resolve that within the next couple of days following the class, get us a, a date set that you guys can follow up with each other, then the better. So we heard it described um, yet, just a couple of days ago that, that if this is what they remember at the end of a class, then the next day what they remember is, is this, and then the next day what they remember is this, and very soon, just a couple of days later, they're, they're looking at that pamphlet that's got the, the oils on there that they were thinking of, and they, they, they're thinking to themselves, why in the world was I going to do that? And so you want to try to keep that momentum high. You want to make sure that they, they are still kind of in that excitement phase before they start to fade off and, and taper down so that they're not as enthusiastic about purchasing the oils. Mm -hmm. um, and again, it's not, uh, this is not some, you know, some nefarious plan to try to get them to buy something they don't need. It's because we know they need it. We know how important it is and how it could be life changing for them. So we want to try to help them make a good, a wise and an informed decision. So, um, so these are some tools that you're going to want to have. You're definitely going to want to have at your classes your enrollment forms printed out and ready, both your wholesale customer and your wellness advocate forms ready. Um, 
Now, there's a little bit of different strategy with this, but I'm just going to point out here real quick. Um, some people are automatically in classes giving the two options. Some people are automatically enrolling everyone as a customer unless they specifically say to them or ask questions about the business and then later on can have conversations with them as they do follow-ups and things like that about upgrading to a wellness advocate um, because there's really no um, time frame that you, I mean, at any time, a wellness a wholesale customer can upgrade to a wellness advocate um, account. And we'll talk a little bit more, I can't remember if it's next week or the next, about some of the benefits of upgrading and the time frame of all that. So, and the benefits to you and your business. So, um, so practice um, with, the, with the keys to closing and practice your presenting. Um, one of the things that we typically do in classes is we very briefly mention loyalty rewards. And when I say briefly, I mean like a sentence. We will usually say something about, um, about the membership and how to enroll. And that once they get a membership, they will have access to rewards programs and things like that. But we typically don't go into great detail about the loyalty or rewards program until the next appointment. And also, we, we try to make sure that we talk about retail versus wholesale. And the LRP, we just kind of throw it out there real briefly at the beginning of the class so that they understand. Uh, so that it's something that you've already put in their brain a little bit. So at the end of the class, when you bring it up again, they kind of have an understanding of where it is that we're going with that. Um, and again, this are just the, the, the second three questions. Um, if they have are now hesitating after you've handed them the pen and you've walked away and you come back and they still have some hesitations, some objections or concerns. Um, these are those, those second three questions that you're going to want to, to learn and keep in mind. Um, okay. And I think, I think that's all we have for tonight. Um, we're almost finished here because really the fortune is in the follow up. So you are going to when before they as they have enrolled and as they are leaving the class, you already know that within the next week, they're going to have their oils in their hands. Um, as Tasha Smith says, um, there's kits on dressers. Um, is that what she said? Yeah, kits so on dressers. So there will be kits on dressers after you, after about a week after the, your class. So you are going to want to already set up your membership overview, a follow up appointment with all of those people and those in that time frame. I like to do it within about two to three days after they have their kit. Um, and ideally, you want to do it face to face. Sometimes that's not always the case. Um, but you're going to want to set that up and we're going to follow, we're going to talk through more of that next week, what all of that looks like. But, um, we like to say, we're going to, we're going to set up a time to go over your wish list. Um, which by the way, that is coming through the pipe that, um, as rumor, that rumor has it, <laughs> our, our shopping experience will soon be very much like Amazon on our back office, including a wish list. So that's going to be awesome. Mm -hmm. um, but we're going to tell them we're going to go over your wish list. We're going to talk, I'm going to teach you how to order your oils. Um, and then I'm also going to show you how you can get all of the free stuff. So that is where you're going to want to set up that appointment. And we're going to talk next week about what those follow up appointments look like. So some action items for this week. All right. So make sure that you've got the enrollment kit and your form pages ready to go so that you've got those prepared so that as it's time for that enrollment that you're, you're pulling those out and you're able to walk and talk through those very quickly and easily. Um, be sure that you can explain the difference between the retail and the wholesale. So let people know the benefits, the vast benefits of wholesale, that if they're going to order three or four oils in a given year, that wholesale is the way to go, that there's no minimums of, of ordering if you're a wholesale member. member so all they have to do is order one oil to, to be able to receive the benefits of that and uh, let them know kind of some of the, the positive reasons they would want to become a wholesale member. Um, know the different kits 
you want to be able to give give some good advice. So people say, you know, just a great example was the natural solutions kit that we heard about just a minute ago, how she said she wanted one mood oil and uh, the LLP. And so um, LLP. What am I? LLV. My goodness, my brain tonight. So they wanted the they wanted the emotions kit and the LLV. And uh, she said, well, then if those are the two things that you're really interested in and you're really serious about this, then look at the natural solutions kit because it's got all those things in there. And so if she didn't know that that was in the natural solutions kit, she never could have suggested that. So she had to know and understand that that was the option available um, to be able to explain it. So you be sure that you understand what are in the different kits so that you can help people make a good informed decision. Um, have your reference books on hand. I say that jokingly because we don't have any reference books on hand at the moment. We're out. Um, uh, those of you who are looking to have some reference books on hand, the Essential Life book, the third edition, um, is a pre-order right now, and we're waiting for them to come. And the second edition, I think, is sold out. So that one you can't get, but you can get the Modern Essentials books right now. So, um, but ideally, you want to have some reference books on hand. Um, you want to have those in the class, and then you want to have several on hand as well, because we're going to talk about next week how you can utilize those in your follow-up appointment, too. Mm -hmm. And speaking of follow-up, think about following up with someone that you have enrolled already that is not on the Loyalty Rewards program, and then continue working on your pipes. So, does anybody have any questions for tonight before we close out? No questions. No? No questions for you. Just oh, gonna... gosh, you know what? I think we might have not recorded. You turned on the recorder. Right okay. <sighs> okay.